Hey everyone, Ray Moonwolf here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Sword. Last time, the darkest day happened right when we were about to fight the champion. In this episode, well, we're going through the slumbering wheel to find out if there's anything we can do to stop what the hell is going on, stop whatever the hell is going on, and maybe find the legendary Pokemon that saved the world from the darkest day. I'm just going to be trying to make my way through here. But of course, there's a few low-level Pokemon early on. So, let's see. Yeah, the, these are fucking runts. <laughs> let's just get the hell out of here. Okay, so, Bargon. And, let's see. If I recall right, there's some important items in the Slumbering Wheel that I can get for my team, which are going to be important for later on. Let- yeah, so I'll, I'll worry about that in a little bit. In the meantime... Oh look! Muna! Muna, Muna, Muna! Alright. And Galarian Weezing. <laughs> no thank you, not today. Let's see. Misty Seed. Boosts Misty Terrain. Not bad. Let's see. Over here, we've got some water. And a Life Orb! This is what I was looking for! This item is going on... Now, as soon as I find it... This thing is going on Morgan. Boost attack at the cost of a little bit of damage to one's health, but it'll pr prove to be very, very useful. Now, if I recall right, me. I kind of want to get out of there, thank you. And now. Ah! Corbinite! <laughs> hey! Why the hell were there so many high-level Pokémon near the town? That's kind of dangerous, isn't it? But yeah, let's see... Let's show this off. Mystical Fire! Boom! Very potent. And it does cost some health, but... I think it's worth it, and Morgan has a means of recovery anyway. So, all's well that ends well for that. Got an elixir, not bad. And here's what I was looking for, a TM. Phantom Force, nice! Use advantages somewhere, then strikes on the next turn. This move hits even if the target protects itself, which is quite useful in all honesty. But, ooh, there's an orb beetle. And I kind of wanted to get off my bike for now. Let's see. Oh, I see Hop over in the distance. Smoke Ball enables the holder to flee from any wild encounter without fail. Eh, not bad, I guess. Here we go. What's with this fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. Oh, uh, <laughs> hello. Hello, good boys. They really are here. The sword and the shield Pokemon. I knew it. Hey, where are you going? We need your help over here. You two, what in the world are you doing? What? Come off it, Sonya. You must have seen that, right? Those... Those sword and shield Pokémon, they were right in front of us. But then they disappeared into the forest. Hop, you sure you haven't lost the plot? There was no one here but the two of you. What, then those were just illusions or something? Listen, I dug into some literature from other regions and I finally found something. Mentions of the sword Pokémon Zacian and the shield Pokémon called Zamazenta. 
but writings say that those two Pokémon were born somewhere beyond the slumbering weald. Sometime long, long ago. Did they really? <laughs> Sonia, thanks for digging into it! Even if it's just an illusion or whatever, we did manage to find that Pokémon again. Maybe the Pokémon and the sh Maybe the sword and the shield that those two used to carry are still here too. Come on, one second. Zacian and Zamazenta. They may have been sleeping in the slumbering weald next to your hometown all this time. Perhaps that's why no one has entered the deepest part of these woods for so long. Hmm. Maybe. But let's keep going in and see what awaits us at the very end. Would you look at that, Ray? Now there's something you don't see every day. This place definitely feels like the stuff of legend. I love this area and I love the atmospheric music. The use of wolf howls is very effective. Hmm. Busted up sword and a bashed up shield. See that, Ray? The sword and the shield! The legends really were true! Yeah? You obtained a rusty sword. It's said that a hero used this sword to halt a terrible disaster in ancient times, but it's grown rusty and worn. That sells it. I'm taking the shield. Though, wow, would you look at the state of this thing? Seems like it might fall to pieces if you so much as look at it funny. I don't know if these rusty old things will really be able to stop the darkest day, but... Well, I guess it can't hurt to have them along. Let's hope they bring us some good luck. Maybe the Pokémon themselves really are still asleep somewhere. So it seems we're on our own if we want to go help Lee. This is all the help we've got. Hmm. If anybody's going to help Lee now, I guess it's just you and me, mate. He's probably still at Hammerlock Stadium trying to keep the darkest day at bay. So what do you say, Ray? Want to grab a flying taxi and head to there? Not yet. I can't say I blame you. Even I'm a bit guttered to have to come all this way chasing legends only to find a rusty sword and shield. Before we do that, things are about to get a little rough from here. I'm... let me take a look at my Pokémon's levels. 60, 59... I'm gonna bring everyone up to level 62 to be safe. So, give me a moment. Alright, everyone's leveled up. Let's head on out. Let's take a flying taxi and head on out. And let's get out of this gloomy forest and fly back to Hammerlock. Well, if it isn't Ray and Hop, it's a real shame the way things have turned out. You make it all the way to all the way to the championship match, then something like this has to happen. And Chairman Rose thinks that the energy pouring from the darkest day would somehow be the key to saving Galar's future. It all seems a bit mad, if you ask me. I can't follow at all how that's supposed to work. Well, I don't care if I'm up against the darkest day or the chairman or whatever. I'm going ahead, and I'm off to help my brother. And he's gone. That hop never changes. Always in a rush about something, isn't he? The key thing is that no one's been harmed. We gym leaders work together with the city's Pokémon and we've gotten everyone evacuated. And you? You're fixing to help our champion to save everyone in the Gala region? That's where I'm going now. Our greatest ever champion and the greatest ever challenger, along with her fiercest rival. All teaming up against the Darkest Day. I almost feel sorry for it. Go on then, our great challenger, into Hammerlock Stadium with ya. Well, alright then. Let's head on in. 
Before that, though, I'm going to go ahead and switch up my Pokemon, because I know something's about to uh, get a little bit more intense. There we go. G Gym Challenger, you must help me! I mean, please help me. My Pokemon suddenly Dynamax for some reason started running amok in the stadium. Raihan, I mean, Mr. Raihan was able to subdue the Dynamax Pokemon in the stadium, but... If the other Pokemon also Dynamax and go on a rampage, the underground power plant could collapse. Mr. Rosa's down there right now. I know this is selfish of me, but I must beg your assistance. I want you to head down to the underground power plant and stop Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose has awakened a, po the, a Pokemon known as Eternatus. Apparently, the energy emitted from its body is what's causing Dynamaxing. At this rate, all the Pokemon in the Gala region will Dynamax and go berserk. If that were to happen, please, you must save Mr. Rose. You can take the lift over there to reach him. I've enlisted the help of the chairman's younger brother, too, but who knows what else is going on. Alrighty. Let's head on down. The energy plant... It's over there. Let's go ahead and take a look-see. What's all this? We need to help Lee! Hmm. And what do you plan on doing, Jim Challenger? Stopping the darkest day. Uh, pardon? What are you talking about? There's nothing to stop now. We've already brought about the darkest day. Or, should I say, the ultimate Pokémon, Eternatus. Must I explain myself? From your perspective, I suppose it must seem that I am doing something terrible. I don't expect you to understand. But I must provide the Galar region with limitless energy to ensure everlasting prosperity. It is my purpose, my duty, my destiny. That is why we have been giving wishing stars to Eternatus. Surely you remember the red light that caused the ruckus around Hamelock? That was all part of our experiments to awaken Eternatus. You must understand, I can't let you interfere with my plan to protect the future of Gala. Well now... You are challenged by Macrocosmos's Rose. Seriously, why the hell does he have this sort of box theme? It's intense. We can Dynamax in this location. A Scavalier. Well then, let's start off with a Pyro Kick. Pyro Ball. Kick off. You're pretty tough. Yes, entirely too tough. Don't you think that's unfair? Seriously, this is a Final Fantasy boss theme. What the hell? Alright, let's try a low kick. Ooh, you actually survived. Shift gear. Alrighty. One more. Ooh, wild charge. Ow! Well, doesn't matter. Down you go. Ferrothorn. One of my favorites from Gen 5, actually. Alright. One more Pyro Ball. Come on. Alrighty, down you go. Perserker. God, the name of this thing still is weird to me.
Alright. I'm kind of just letting the music play for a little bit, because it's kind of intense. Let's do a U-turn. Pokemon. Oh, oh, down to my last Pokemon. Hmm, this isn't looking too good. Copperaja. Oh, we encountered this earlier. But of course, you're going to Gigantamax it. And well, fight you right then and there with my own. Come on out, see. Let's shake this building to its core. Uber thick boy. <laughs> I'll show you a move they'll hit so hard you'll be speechless. Gigantamax Copperaja. This thing is very odd looking. Oh, you're returning the favor, eh? Oof. All right. And down you go. Sorry, Rose. <laughs> I'd forgotten how great Pokemon battles are. It's been so long since I battled. That was sh that sure was satisfying. <laughs> you mind explaining yourself? Most impressive, Ray. I wouldn't expect anything less from a challenger endorsed by the strongest champion ever to grace our beloved Galar region. I really do wish I could have seen the championship match between you two. And I'm terribly sorry to have ruined the whole gym challenge and everything. It's too bad, but it can't be helped. In order to solve the energy issue as soon as possible, we awakened Eternatus, but we couldn't control it. The champion came to aid me, even at the cost of abandoning the match. Indeed, just like a knight in shining armor coming to rescue a princess from a dragon. Do I... I do tend to rebel on, I know. I do love making speeches. But I think I can stop talking now. I think the champion should have captured Eternatus by now. If you're curious, you can take the lift up. And I trust you'll be going too, right, Hop? I certainly hope losing to me didn't discourage you too much. Go on now, both of you. See how our champion is doing. Discouraged? You don't get it, do you, Chairman? Neither me nor my Pokémon are anywhere near giving up. We've learned how to be strong thanks to the gym challenge you organized. Hmm. Of course I won't stop you. Head up via the lift if you wish. Hmm. We can see that Eternatus was trapped inside that crystal. And there were even some wishing stars around here. They were probably being pumped into it. 
It's probably going to be locked in there forever to be used as an eternal power generator of sorts. Kind of a sad fate for a Pokemon, but at the same time, it is a walking catastrophe and cataclysm, so I don't know what to think. Uh, give me a moment. Yeah, I, yeah, give me a... I want to switch my Pokemon because... I want to see if Morgan can handle this, and also I want to top up my Pokemon. Alright. Seath, let's heal you up. Solaire. Super Potion on Morgan. And on Seath. Alright, all topped up. Well, to be honest... I want to continue. I want to keep going on, but we're already at the two, uh, at the twenty-three minute mark, and there's a lot coming up in the next episodes coming up. So I will save it for the next episode. This has been Ray Moonwolf signing out. Later, guys, and have a good day.